Hi guys, Leslie here, and I want to show you how to use an Amazon hosted buy button um, in your easy product displays, meaning the, the image URL for the Amazon buy button is hosted on Amazon's website and not on easy product displays website. Um, so here we are building a product display on easy product displays, and when you um, when you're doing this, what we want to do is we want to go in and we want to go to our global settings, okay? And what we want to do is go to the bottom here where it says button type. Right now I have it at none, but we want to set the button to a custom image button, okay? Custom image button. And what's going to happen is this blank box is going to pop up under here and it's going to ask us for the custom button image URL. We're going to grab that from Amazon's website. I will leave this link um, in the video notes. These are hosted on Amazon. They are the official Amazon buttons. So um, good to use them. So what you would do is right mouse click over you know the button that you want to use i like to use the gold ones i've heard other um, people say as well that the gold convert better if you're you know just wondering so i, I choose the gold and um, any gold button you want here uh, i like the long one so you just right mouse click over it and you're going to copy the image address depending on the internet browser that you're using it might say copy image link address or um, just something a slightly varied um, sentence like this, but you want the image URL. So I'm copying the image address, that's, and I'm going back to Easy Product Displays, and I'm going to paste it here uh, where it says Custom Button URL. And then I'm just going to click off, and that button should appear. There it is. Okay. And what you can do um, so that you don't have to do this every single time is you can save this. Okay. You can save it in here, and you can save lots of different things. Um, so if you wanted to switch out from the different buy buttons, you could save one for each different buy button, okay? So you're going to hit save. Um, and I have this, um, I'll just, so I have a few, I'll just have sample too. You know, just for the sake of, whatever you want to call it, you can call it Amazon this, Amazon buy button one, Amazon buy button two. You know what I mean? You can call it whatever you want. Hit save settings. And what that does is that we'll save that in your global settings. So just when you come back, see, you'll notice when we go to build the display that it just, it pops up. It's your, now your global button for Amazon. Um, and this way it is hosted on Amazon's site. And so when I go to search a product, let's just grab a product here. Say it's this Pokemon book, okay? When we go to look at the code, you'll see, whoops, here's the image source. That's what that means. Um, let me zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see. You'll see that it is now hosted on Amazon, okay? It's no longer the uh, hosted on EPD, and we can tell by the Amazon.com instead of it saying easy product displays, okay? So that is how you use an Amazon hosted buy button in your easy product displays, um, and you can use any one of these buttons uh, right here and I will leave a link to this in the video notes. And if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.